to 10 on top. Okay, so William and Kate aren't the only ones celebrating this week. Tomorrow is 10 on top's one year anniversary. When we aired our first episode, Puckleberry were an item, Beaver had bangs, and we'd never even heard of the name Klaus. But now, he's all we can think about. So, for keeping us in major suspense and never letting us down, The Vampire Diaries earns our top spot. Niklaus is the name my father gave me. Please. Call me Klaus. Klaus has finally arrived. There was so much hype for this character. It was kind of overwhelming, but I immediately felt the love. There's no doubt people are loyal to the show. And all I got was a, a, a lot of requests as well, like, please don't kill this person. Please don't kill this person. Someone's not going to be happy, let me tell you. I'm actually afraid to shoot with him because he's so much more powerful than Damon. At the end of the season is going to be the biggest episode the show has ever had, and things will go down, yeah. What have you been doing? Making coffee. Do you want some? When Joseph first arrived on the set, I gave him a little bit of advice. Practice your vampire face. I know it sounds crazy, but if you haven't gone from the mirror and practiced your, like, oh, our vampire face, you get to set and you feel so awkward. You suddenly realize I have no idea what I look like doing this kind of or whatever it is. So yes, I practice my vampire face. But the most charming part of Joseph's face isn't his vampire teeth. <laughs> Well, you know, I try not to be too aware of my dimples whilst I'm playing Klaus. What are my dimples doing at this moment? Or what, what do Klaus's dimples feel about this? But he definitely has that very, like, sweet, angelic face, but don't believe it. I think that's an advantage that I do have, right? That I, I don't look capable of all this murder and, uh, and uh, you know, terrorizing, which goes on. But uh, I assure you I am capable of it all. <laughs>